was given an opportunity and later appointed as the opportunity to serve in this nation. We now have the report on the status of compliance. Pray that your grace will continue to abound in our nation. In the name of The agenda of internship is an agenda I believe in very strongly. There are many things we learn in school, there are many things we learn in college, but there are many more things we learn by mentorship and by internship. I am a great believer in internship and mentorship because I have seen the benefits and the value of mentoring others, providing an opportunity for others to learn. I have had the privilege to mentor many politicians. I have had the privilege to provide internship for many people in the global space. any success, whether in public service, whether in business, whether in politics, is to be able to mentor others, to be as good, if not better, than yourself. And I hope those of us who have the privilege to serve as leaders, either in business, or in public service, or in politics, that we consider mentoring others, providing internship for others to learn uh, from us, and that we can pass on the battle. And I like what I heard um, uh, Aisha say, that part of the success of leadership is to be able to arrange a succession plan. Do not sit in an office, do not occupy a position as though you are going to be there forever. It is important for all of us who have the privilege to serve that one day, we will not be able to serve in the positions that we have. And you will be the better, you will be the richer if you can mentor others into those positions, if you can, if we can create a mechanism uh, for others to be, to learn from us so that continuously as a country, as a leadership, we are getting better. We can only become better, we can only get better as a nation if we learn from those who've been so that we can improve those who will be. In a song, the song has a clear message for and I'll tell you why they are here this morning. We respect our elders and those who have served and have reached retirement age should not be bothered for a day longer with any other responsibility, <laughs> but to give way to those who are graduating. <laughs> the question that uh, keeps coming uh, is when somebody gets to 60, they begin to say, oh, you know, I have not arranged a succession plan. I need another two years extension so that I can do this and I can do that. I mean, if you have reached retirement, retirement age and you have not done what you should have done, it cannot be an excuse. You just need to pack your small bags, <laughs> move on, <laughs> so that the other can also move up. As a politician, when my time comes, I am very confident that I have mentored enough 
young people, young leaders who can if not serve as as as, as good, maybe serve better than I have done. And I think that, that should be the case for any public Do not join the public service and hold back or shy off from contributing your ideas. There are no right or wrong ideas. We must always be prepared for a good idea to give way to a better idea, and for a better idea to give way to the best idea. Remember, Chairman, when I came into office and we wanted to appoint um, uh, CSS, and I, the, the public service brought to my attention that the court had problems with how the CSS had been appointed earlier. After consultations, I told the chair and the public service, all I need is honest advice. And all we must do is go by the rule of law. And we had to redo the whole architecture because it was the advice of a professional public service. All public servants must discharge their mandate, their responsibility, go about their, their work, and be honest and serve, as was said here ably, with dignity. No is also an answer. If it is not possible, please say it is not possible. Do not cut corners. Do not bend rules. Let us play by the rule book. That's how Kenya is going to go forward, and that's how public service is going to remain professional. Let us not be distracted. We are a robust democracy. We believe in the rule of law. And it is my contention that the Constitution, even as it provided for us to have divergent opinions, and we should. In fact, something would be very wrong with us if we agreed on everything all the time. Having competing ideas, having divergent opinion, is part of what we celebrate as a democracy. And we must celebrate our diversity in ideas as well. But it is my position that the Constitution did not envisage that different opinions would result in chaos or loss of property, or loss of life. We must, all of us, be able to celebrate all the rights provided for in our Constitution in a manner that respects the rights of others and also in a manner that does not destroy property or in a manner that does not make our children not go to school. I think we can do that. We are mature enough to be able to do that. And I hope that all of us will begin to understand where we must go.